Go on then, Imon. Stab it. I'm gone. Completely full inventory. I would not want to be Imon. She's exploring the spiderwood alone. Looking for this the big web traps and spiders to lead back to the party. Oh bloody hell. And then again, I wouldn't want to be here at all. I would not want to live in a world with giant spiders, really? Um What the f are they doing here? It is so sad to have met you this fine day. Normally we would be quite ecstatic to have visitors, but in these troubled times we really do desire privacy. We can't just afford to have anyone knowing that we're here. That is why you must die. Just wait a moment. We won't bother you. Just let us go on our way and you'll never see us again. Sorry, but the Red Wizards of Fae are not known for their magnanimous nature. We're going to have to kill you. Okay. Um, what would you have in that do? case... Silence. Oh, Oof. Oh no, it's only a couple of damage. But who saved it? Mirror image, ghost armor, magic missile. So da uh, Diana is silenced and Brendan is silenced, whereas Lasala and Denik saved. Well, that's half the wizards who cannot use their spells, so let's just get stuck in and kill them. So go for the two who can. So that's Diana and Lasala. Diana? No, Denik and Lasala. All right, one down. Dia ah, the two who can't just charge forward. That silence spell is such a good one. Right, let's use... Oh, let's try the flame arrow on her. Oh, nice one. Very good, Nira. Keep it up. What did you do? Wild Surge held. She held herself. I think we should give Nero a bit of space. Wild magic just looks so fun to play. I, I can't wait to try playing a wild mage for myself. What have we got? Broken weapon, drop that. Remove magic, grease, protection from petrification. I can give them to her, she just can't do anything. We also have a magic robe. Ten darts, which I know I can't sell. Uh, another magic robe. That looks like blindness, scorcher, armor, and burning hands. A ring. Oh, Imoen's in inventory is full. Cold resistance. That's not very good. Electrical resistance. Fire resistance. I love her ability to identify this stuff. And another cold. And a ring that she cannot identify. Okay. I guess we're just waiting for Nero to come back. Oh, I can write remove magic. Nice. Uh, I don't have an identify spell, so I cannot find out what that is. Just pure There's guesswork. I'm going to say maybe it's like additional spells. Because I've got that one that gives me additional priest spells. So... Finding a, a ring on a wizard that gives me additional wizard spells would make sense. Nimoen just found a Tazloy. Just a lone Tazloy. There may have been others, but... Are there others? Yes. She can just pick them off one by one. Is there a third? Nope, just two of them. Just two Tazloy just randomly stood in the middle of nowhere. Well, it kind of looks like I've dealt with the worst of it, but there is this area, and the worst of it was like over here, so maybe there is something up here. Uh, hello? What you want? A Tazloy has stolen my scroll of wisdom, Wanderer, and fled eastward towards the Etacap's lair. The poor Tazloy is probably quite dead by now, but the Etacaps, of course, will not recognize the scroll's value. If you could retrieve it for me, I promise to brighten your karma. Uh, is it this one? I can't remember where I got that. I think I may have got that from the uh, the thingy. Do I already have it? Uh, no. Okay. Although, it's possible I've already gained it and sold it. I don't recall. 
I would be surprised if I sold it. Because I don't... Oh, no, I did sell some protection scrolls. It's possible I've already had it and sold it. In which case, it, I don't think it'll be here. It's also possible that it won't uh, load in, like, the Etikap who's got it until I get the quest. Can you kill it, please? Thank you. So I'll have a look. No, there's no sign. I'm guessing I did already sell it. That's awkward. Alright, back up to the bandit camp. Do I still? Yeah, I've still got plenty of inventory space to loot. So, let's finish what we started up here. I know we've got the chill leader to kill still. Uh, that'll be a thrill. Uh, but beyond that, I'm not really sure. Uh, there were some that I didn't kill on the way in. So I think I'll just go back up to where I was and sort of hit them from the core again, because that worked. Hello? Is there anyone here who hasn't fled in the couple of days since I murdered... Well, several days, probably been a week now since I murdered Tazok. Not... I, I haven't murdered Tazok, sorry. I mean, I murdered all the people in, in Tazok's tent. Yeah, uh, Tazok wasn't here. Kind of looks like this place is abandoned now. Ooh, a magic shield in that box. Agiantis, do you want to grab that? Also, it's cool it shows you what you can and can't unlock. And a wand of some kind? Nero, you grab that. Actually, I can identify. What's the ring? The Victor, Ring of Energy. Crafted by Drow Mages of the Underdark, the weapon was used in an arranged battle between two rival houses. Each combatant was allowed to use a single magic item to aid his efforts. The ring was the weapon used by the victor, though he never laid hands on it. It was worn by his sibling and fired from the crowd, striking his opponent squarely in the back. Everyone agreed it was a brilliant interpretation of the rules. A jet. A two by hundred foot jet. Nineteen charges. So what, just shoots a, a blast. Alright. Yeah, let's give that to Nero. That can't go wrong. Ah, oh, there are still bandits here. Good. Minsk, would you stop being hit? I think I better heal Minsk because he's just going to keep getting hit, isn't he? It's just what he does. Is it because he doesn't have a shield? Oh god, okay, we are sort of straying quite a bit. Alright, go for the Hobgoblin. Wow, he just fell apart. Kill him. Okay. Heal him again. Maybe I need to give Minsk a shield. Anyone else? Chills? Ah, we found the chill. Good. Ardener Crush. He's the uh, the leader. Okay. Uh. Ooh. Let's try doing that blast of energy. Oh yeah. Why did I just shoot that through my own people? It's not very powerful though. Oh, it continues doing damage. It stays on him. Oh wow, that was interesting. Not amazing, but... It... Oh, that gets quite powerful at high level. Do you guys want to help? <laughs> oh, this is funny to watch. Oof. As you will. Yeah, that went really well. Let's just start. Be quiet. Tursus. <laughs> okay. Oil of speed. Oddly murky oil. Doubles the speed. Hmm. Okay. Nice colourful bottle, but not interested. Bottle of fortitude. Oh, increases constitution. Potion of heroism. Tons of potions I'm getting, just none of them are here for things I'm going to use. I suppose I'll sell them all. Get me close to that 18 grand I need for Nira's cloak. Oh, all right, there are nulls in here. As you will. 
Yeah, don't talk to them, just murder them, would you? I was gonna say that one wasn't hostile, but okay. Oof! Flint is kind of dangerous. Not that dangerous, though. Another couple of magic arrows, although they look like ones I've already had before. Yep. And... Oh, that one I can't. I think that's the piercing one. And a bottle of perception. More bandits! Trying feebly to block me from exiting. Time to identify everything. I'm going to guess medium shield plus one. Yep. Uh, wand of fear. Uh, okay. Cause them to run in fear unless they save. All right, well, that could be useful. Protection scroll. It's curse scroll of ugliness. The effects could prove fatal. Ooh. Fatal ugliness. Can you imagine? All right. Hell for the glory of hell. Looks like we've got some holdouts. Not for long, though. I think I should rebrand from Cobbled Exterminators to Bandit Exterminators. I mean, I suppose I technically already am a professional Bandit Exterminator, given how much I'm being paid for their bloody scalps. But still, what's in the big Bandit cave? Huh. A horde of gnolls. Not what I would have bet on. You come to mock Garclax. Garclax is clamping in cave long enough. Let us out now or die. Let out the filthy gnolls to let them do evil. Boo's blood boils at the thought. Minsk smells righteous butt kicking coming. Uh, and many other foul smells too. Yes, Boo, it was very stupid of the bandits to lock a whole clan of gnolls in such a small cave for so long. They are no prisoners, Siler. More likely they're bandits who were too unruly even for chill. Uh, why are you in here anyway? We're in here because of trouble we caused in camp. Big brawl two nights back. Um, well, two nights back, most people were dead? You should know that unless you're not Black Talon. You not smell right, you die. I mean, we're already, already going to kill all of you anyway. Uh, go for v the Flynn, because they're the most dangerous. And then the one that's closest to us. And then the talking one. I mean, they're not doing anything in return, so at this point we are just exterminating gnolls too. Oh, there are more. How deep does the cave go? There are more of you in here. Yes. Just the one more, though. Sorted. A fire opal ring. That looks interesting. Here, means have a spare sword. And invisibility. Ooh. I don't think I'll ever use that either, but I'll write it. Nira is going to have quite a repertoire of spells that she never uses. I don't like the looks of you, I don't. What you like or do not like is hardly my concern. I'd just like to know a bit about this place. Get out of here. I said I don't like you. Um... Time to die for being a bandit. You know he was a bandit because I pulled his scalp off. Minsk. Oh, a magic ring. Huh. In the one undefended uh, hut. Well, Chromatic Orb didn't really do much, whereas Magic Missile gets much more powerful. And let's find out what the ring is. The Iron Thorn. Cursed ring of slight monsterism. This wrought iron band is pitted and stained as if by acid. Between the two thorns formed by the band, a crude lump of silver on its head suggests the image of a skull against a black field. Lord of Bones. Changes the appearance to a, that of a zombie. I kind of want to try that. Is that a spell of fireball I just got? It is a spell of fireball. Ooh. All right. Can I have that one yet? Yes, yeah, the same as fire, Flame Arrow. Although I kind of think Flame Arrow is probably better. Fireball just feels like it's going to be too dangerous to use, like when I used that uh, that Fireball Rod, with helms, and I just ended up hurting a load of my own guys. Well, that is the Bandit Camp well and truly looted. 
So I guess we're done here. All right, let's try that that ring, shall we? Uh, Iron Thorn. Hey Minsk, put this on. Okay. Oh. You point butt kicking for goodness. <laughs> Minsk, you're looking great. Oh, is something different? Uh, no. Okay. Let's just let's keep going. I'll be right behind you. Hurry up, zombie Minsk! Bloody hell! So slow. Yeah. That seven hundred more. I'm now probably about a thousand off being able to afford that magic robe for Nera. No, I think we've had enough fun at uh, Minsk's expense. Let's remove that curse, shall we? I'll just rub you back, don't worry. Okay. Ah! I feel back to normal. This, uh, this magic band, it seems it is uh, a bad thing. Yes, Minsk. Oh no, how terrible. Cobbles, whatever will I do? Against these yipping little gits. Wow. Good job, Imuin. Right, as we were, Firewine. Ooh. Okay. So that's the entrance. And there's the other entrance, presumably. Right, it was a 24 hour trip, so let's save and sleep. And we're woken up by a load of skeletons. First of all, turn undead. <laughs> you point. Amazing. Hey, Benton, don't mind the many, many skeletons that we're chasing and murdering around you. Seriously, don't worry a moment. Hey, look, more skeletons. Alright, go for those. Sila, get over here and try and turn these as well. Oh, and a cobbled. You two go for that one, you go for that one. You keep trying to turn them. Weapon unusable. Oh, another one of your bloody long swords broke. Two handed swords, whatever. Everyone go for that. Oh, there are a few of them. That's right, they're ordinary cobbled, so absolutely no threat. Alright, well, I chased them quite away, so I guess we'll find any loot. There's another one. God, there are just they're bloody seeded around this place. Okay. Now I'll try looting. Right, uh, who, who are you, Benton? Hi, friend. Oh, there. I am Benton, most devout follower of the great Broken Ill Martyr. I wonder if any of you follow the path of the Crying God. Well, this seems like one of those, um,. How much do you agree with this statement? Uh, not at all. A, uh, not much. A little. Completely. No, none of us worship El Mater. So none of you venerate El Mater. Well then, we must rectify this at once. Listen closely while I tell you the wonders that will come once you have converted to El Mater's faith. Now, as you probably heard, El Mater is the god of suffering. Most people immediately perceive this as the suffering one must endure themselves, but trust me, the stories you have heard are most likely wild and unrealistic. Suffering in the service of El Mater does eventually come, but lo! It is the most joyful of sensations and opens your eyes to wisdom. Once you have suffered in the service of El Mater, you will have your eyes open to the evils of the world. Evils such as... Avarice, greed, lust, perversity, and most especially magic. By magic, I mean not the holy power granted by El Mater, but rather the wicked powers wielded by sorcerers. Excuse us, but there is one among our party who is a sorcerer. Some of you are sorcerers. By all this good and holy, you must stop your evil ways. Magic only leads to pain and suffering. It is a wicked art, and I tell you, a wicked art. Though I find it painful to stand in the presence of such, such vile necromancers, I will continue my sermon. All you have to do to become a faithful of Il Mater is to cast off your worldly possessions. Or worldly possessions, rather. There should be an L in there. You will wander the world and suffer in the place of others. You will spread the word as I have spread it to you. 
Well, what think you? Will you cast off your possessions and become a faithful of Ilmedar? What you speak of is intriguing, but we just don't have the time or inclination. I'm sorry that you feel that way. I tried, Ilmater knows I tried. I hope that your young and gullible minds aren't perverted by the evil forces that roam the world. Goodbye. What an odd encounter. What? Right, boo. There... Why is there a row of zombies there? Alright, let's see if we can turn any of them. Seems we cannot. Alright. Oh, turn some of them. Alright, go for the ones who didn't turn. I'm just following a zombie into the Firewine Ruins. This doesn't feel like the smartest play. Is it just... Is it literally just a bridge? I thought it was like an elven town or something. Am I remembering that wrong? Or are the ruins like somewhere inside? Maybe they're on the other side of the bridge. Well, let's try sleeping again. Yay! Now we can explore in daylight. With fewer undead, hopefully. Probably not, maybe. Sflast. He's out there. He's coming. I can feel his footsteps following me. The scent of rotting flesh is coming for us all. What are you talking about? Who is coming for us? I... I killed him, but he's out there. He's coming this way. I can... F Feel it. Who was this person? Why does he hunt you from beyond the grave? I was a paladin once. I fought on the side of good, but it all comes to naught. I murdered him in cold blood, my brother in the faith. When he comes, let him be. This feels like another one of those, how much do you agree with this statement? Because it's four things that all seem to like be for or against this. As you wish. I do not agree with your decision, but if it is your choice to die by this creature's hand, I will not stand in the way. An ex-paladin. Oh, bloody hell. Hello. I'm sorry, my brother. I was jealous. I was a fool. My life is yours. I mean... Critical mess. I honestly don't know whether I should be helping him here. Can I talk to him? Can I talk to him? Because yeah. he's a paladin who committed murder, so this is sort of just, isn't it? With helm Revenge! What just happened? I have been witness to sad events within the Firewine Ruins. An ex-paladin by the name of Sflast is being hunted by the spirit of his brother in the faith whom he wrongfully killed. Never have I seen a more dejected and repentant soul than Paul Sflast. He has begged us not to interfere, but my heart does not rest easy with such a choice. The creature took its revenge. Well, it sounds like he deserved it. I mean, it was a paladin who betrayed his, his faith to murder his... Murder someone. Murder his, his brother or something. I don't know. Can you identify this? It's a bastard sword. A magic bastard sword. It is a bastard sword plus one because it looks identical to that one. Okay. Holy crap. You can set custom markers. I had no idea this was a thing. If you right click on the map. Wow. Into the ruins or across the bridge. Over the hills and far away. Let's see what we've got in here today. Hey look, there are puddles all over on that side. And a guy named Poe. I don't know what to rhyme. 